Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hannah. Good morning, all. Wake up, Gary. <laughs> I'm on multiple calls, so I'll listen. Uh, okay. All right, that's all good. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, I think, August 25th. And we are going to get started with our morning devotion. Okay. Welcome to Morning Devotions and Bible Study. As we gather to devote our day to God, I remind you to mute yourselves when we read in unison. I will ask for a few volunteers to read as we go. Our Zoom gathering today will be recorded and made available to others. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Gracious creator, we dedicate this day to you. It is a gift from you, and we honor all that it may offer to us. Productivity, play, connection, fulfillment, solitude, observation, learning, growth, discovery, rest, and refreshment. Draw us closer to you, to one another, and to all of your beloved creation. Amen. Amen. Please meet yourself as we pray together. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. As I begin this new day with you, creator of the universe, awaken my heart to gratitude. Creator of the universe, awaken our hearts to gratitude. Amen. Saying together, as we begin this new day with you, giver of life, allow me to feel excited about the day's possibilities, plans, and purpose. Giver of life, give us excitement to begin this new day. Do I have a volunteer who would like to read the song of pilgrimage? I'll read it. Wonderful. Thank you, Susan. Before I ventured forth, even while I was very young, I sought wisdom openly in my prayer. In the forecourt of the temple, I asked for her and I will seek her to the end. From first blossom to early fruit, she has been the delight of my heart. My foot has kept firmly to the true path. Diligently from my youth have I pursued her. I inclined my ear a little and received her. I found for myself much wisdom and became adept in her. To the one who gives me wisdom will I give glory for I have resolved to live according to her way. From the beginning, I gained courage from her. Therefore, I will not be forsaken. In my inmost being, I have been stirred to seek her. Therefore, I have gained a good possession. With my reward, the Almighty has given me the gift of language, and with it, I will offer praise to God. Thank you, Susan. I need five readers for our prayers before our scripture. Thank you. I'll do, I'll do one. All right, Paul, you'll be number one. I'll do two. Okay, Martha will be two. Michael, you'll do number three. 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 Yes. Okay. Robert can do four. Excellent. And do we have anyone who would like to do five? If not, I'll, I'll do five. five. Wonderful. Thank you, Becky. Indescribable God, 
we are about to study what generations of people have passed along to us out of love for you, out of love for us. We are about to explore your ways and how you may call us to think, feel, and act. We seek you in humility, knowing we will not have a perfect understanding for you and your ways, and that only you are the perfection of all that is loving, true, and good. In humility, we study, reflect, and open our hearts to grow in you. Amen. As we study your word, we will encourage each other to grow in relationship with you and to open your many forms of wisdom that will reach each of us in various ways today. Amen. As we study your word, we will offer gentleness, safety, and confidence to one another. Remove from us any nervousness, sarcasm, bitterness, gossip, and the urge to give unsolicited advice or fix another person. Amen. As we study your word, we will listen to each other with ears, eyes, and heart. Give us grace to allow for quiet and give us wisdom to know when to speak. Amen. As we study your word, we will seek to understand you better and to understand ourselves better. Remove from us the desire to stand in judgment of others. Any residue of violence, hatred, shame, or arrogance, and fill us with compassion for ourselves and others, that we may be truly accessible to your Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Today we continue studying Ruth. <clears throat> so I will read it through first, and our question that we will discuss then is, what one question do you have for the text? It's author, characters, or God. A reading from the book of Ruth. Then Boaz said to Ruth, Now listen, my daughter. Do not, do not go to glean in another field or leave this one, but keep close to my young women. Keep your eyes on the field that is being reaped and follow behind them. I have ordered the young men not to bother you. If you get thirsty, go to the vessels and drink from what the young men have drawn. So what question do you have for this text or the author, characters, or God? I wonder why Boaz would, would refer to Ruth as my daughter. Who were his young women? It says that she's supposed to follow behind the field that's being reaped. Was that a real job? Or was he just like giving her something to do? And was she supposed to be doing something past the field as she walked, as she followed the law along? Or did he just make up a job for her, keep her safe? Move on to our next question. Is there someone else who would like to read the reading from Ruth this morning? I'll read it. Thank you, Jan. Then Boaz said to Ruth, Now listen, my daughter, do not go to glean in another field or leave this one, but keep close to my young women. Keep your eyes on the field that is being reaped and follow behind them. I have ordered the young men not to bother you. 
If you get thirsty, go to the vessels and drink from what the young men have drawn. Word or phrase connects with you this morning that you would like to share. Keep your eyes on the field. Mama! Mama! Young. <laughs> young. If you get thirsty, go to the vessels and drink. Look at me. Retention in school. Class. Very important. I'm not physical, correct? Correct. Do not go to, uh, what was it? Do not go to glean in another field or leave this one. I was just thinking that. I think that's mine too. And our last and final reading is a short <coughs> scripture from Ruth. Does anyone feel called to read it a final time? I'll read. Thank you, Ed. <laughs> then Boaz said to Ruth, Now listen, my daughter, do not go to glean in another field or leave this one, but keep close to my young women. Keep your eyes on the field that is being reaped and follow behind them. I have ordered the young men not to bother you. If you get thirsty, go to the vessels and drink from what the young men have drawn. How does this text connect to your life today? Hmm. I think my daughter and son-in-law, whose, whose daughter is in California, is feeling like they'd rather keep her close, but, <laughs> but they can't. Well, I think with Gregory being at college now, um, being close, like staying in your dorm, don't socialize with other people. It's a different world right now, but um, I see it relates here. Mm -hmm. I like keep your eyes on the field that is being reaped. It speaks to me about focusing on today and today's problems, not wandering off into other fields and other sets of problems that would be addressed another day. Um, sufficient unto the days are the troubles thereof. I like that line too. It's kind of like saying, keep your eyes on the prize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know Jennifer's gone back to work. I know James has gone back to work. A lot of people are teachers have gone back to work and I know I will be helping, I will be needed more. So I need to keep my eyes on that. What I what I be need what I need to do to help today. I see a little bit of the question of leadership here. Who do you trust? Uh, obviously, Boaz is saying to Ruth, trust me, do all this stuff I'm advising. And uh, I think in what he is telling her, she can discern he's probably got her best interests in mind. But, uh, but it, to think about it. In our current situation, I think it's who do you trust? Who's who's a leader, and what are they doing that says, "Yeah, you ought to trust me." Yeah, I'm looking at that first part. Do not go glean in another field or leave this one. 
to me that says like, don't try and be more helpful. Just do what you're supposed to be doing. Stay in your lane. Don't, you know, just do what you're supposed to be doing, not to go try and create something else that you think you should be doing or you think that's going to be more helpful. Just stick to what you know and what you're asked of you. Anything else from this passage in Ruth you would like to share? It's a good reminder to me not to bother the young women. <laughs> It says young men don't bother. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, hey. Sassy this morning. I was wondering how how young young is. <laughs> mm, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Let us mute ourselves and pray together. Our prayer of reflection. Saying together, your word is a lamp into my feet and a light into my path. I invite your word to fill my soul, my mind, and my body. Holy Spirit, direct my focus for this day. Would anyone like to share what their focus is today? Gratitude. <laughs> I want to enjoy another birthday reached. <laughs> reached. Holy Spirit, direct our focus for this day. Amen. Let us mute ourselves and say together, <laughs> compassionate healer, guide me moment by moment today in choosing your way of compassion in the midst of the days unfolding. In my thinking, in my speaking, in my actions, in this day before me, I invite you to direct my energies towards these activities and ways of being that are most essential for the work of your kingdom, as I am called to lead and serve within it. Compassionate healer, thank you for entrusting these priorities to us. Give us the wisdom, energy, and strength to accomplish that which is before us today. To your glory. Amen. As we part ways and enter into this day fully, we entrust that we entrust to you through the power of prayer the following concerns in our lives communities, and world. For Kathy, for Sharon, and Linda. For Sandy. For Delaney. 
Mark and Carol. For Ali. For Gregory. Praying together, wall muted. Oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect, infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love. The work and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time, all nations and peoples may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Hannah.